In section 3.1, we were finding zeros, um, but those all factored really nicely. And so in the future, they might not factor that nice. So we're going to have to learn some new techniques to find zeros. So we're going to add this new thing called long division, um, division of polynomial functions. This will help us find zeros when maybe we can't factor. Um, so we're going to start off with just division in this section and not finding zeros, but just giving you purpose of why we're doing this. Um, so I'm going to review um, long division in algebra, just to review some terminology. So this would be 75 divided by 4. Right, we put 75 inside. It's called the dividend. And then divided by 4, 4 was called the divisor. Um, that's my dog. Hey, shh. Um, and so then we divide. So first what we did is we did... 4 into 7, it went one time, and then we multiplied, right? We did 1 times 4, we got 4, and then we subtracted. So this process will be important for polynomials as well. And we get 3, and then we carry down the 5. And then how many times does 4 go into 35? Um, I think 8. And that's because 8 times 4 is 32. And then again, we subtract. And we get 3. And then 4 no longer goes into 3, right? Because 3 is smaller, so 3 was called our remainder. And we called 18 was the quotient, the result from division. Um, so we would say 75 over 4 is equal to 18, and then we did plus the remainder over 4, right? So remainder 3 means 3 fourths, 3 out of 4. So it'll be remainder over divisor. And this will be the quotient. So this will be important. When we do polynomials, it's going to look really the same. It's just going to look trickier because it's variables and not numbers. It's also true if I wanted to check my work, I would do 18 times 4. And then you add the remainder, and it should bring you back to 75. So it'll be quotient times divisor plus remainder. Is 75 and I'll formally define that when we get into polynomials but just relate it to numbers it makes it a little bit easier so let's define it for polynomials and get into an example so it's gonna be this a similar pattern right like the multiplying and subtracting is the same the pattern is the same but it has polynomials so f of x and d of x will be polynomials d of x can't be zero because that's our divisor um, and then f of x needs to have a greater than or equal to degree so this one needs to have a bigger degree than this one. Um, and then there exists a unique polynomial, Q for quotient. Um, we will always get an answer, a quotient plus a remainder over the denominator. And then if we multiply everything by D of X, we'll get this result. So I'm going to write it out because it's overwhelming right now. So we're going to do F of X divided by D of X, meaning... We're going to do d of x on the outside, f of x on the inside for long division. q of x will be our quotient, so that's what pops up on top. And r of x is our remainder. And then just by multiplying everything by d of x, it goes away. We get q of x times d of x, and then we get the remainder. So these will be two useful formulas in a second. And then what's going to be really interesting for us is when the remainder is 0. So if the remainder is 0, this piece goes away, which means f of x just equals d of x times q of x, no remainder. And the reason this is interesting to us is because when there's no remainder, that means we've actually factored it, right? So these would be factors. And so this will be useful for finding zeros later. So our goal is eventually going to be to find things without remainders, but for now we're going to have remainders while we practice the process. 
So it's really weird with formulas. So let's just do long division and kind of see if it comes back to you. Um, so let's do the first example. We're going to do um, 14x cubed minus 12x squared plus 6x. That's my dividend that goes on the inside. And we're going to divide it by x squared minus 1. So we're doing 14x cubed minus 12x squared plus 6 over x squared minus 1. And so long division, the top goes inside. Um, one thing I notice is there is no x term. So I usually add a 0 for all the missing powers just in case I need it. And you'll see as I do the example. So if I have missing powers, just add a 0. With a zero coefficient, right? Zero times x is still zero, so it doesn't change anything. So let's um, do this example. So the way long division works is we're going to take the first term and we're going to divide it by the first term. So we're going to do 14x cubed over x squared. If any of you have done this before, I might be doing more steps, but if you've never done this before, you want to do all these steps. And so that would give me 14x. So we're going to write 14x on top. Basically, x squared goes into 14x cubed 14x times. And then we're going to go ahead and multiply by everything. So the minus 1 we're ignoring for the division, but we'll use it for the multiplication. So 14x times x squared is 14x cubed. The first term should always match. We kind of did that on purpose. And then minus 14x, which I'm going to write over here to line up like terms. And we just follow the algorithm for division. So the next rule was to subtract. So when I subtract, those cancel out. And then 14x be minus a minus 14x becomes a positive. And we carry everything down. So negative 12x squared plus 14x plus 6. Cool. Let's go again. So now we'll do the first term divided by the first term. Um, so x squared goes into negative 12x squared negative 12 times. So minus 12. We're going to go ahead and multiply. So negative 12x squared, notice those always match. And then plus 12. And subtract. It's a repetitive pattern after a while. So subtract makes everything opposite. So first terms cancel out. We get 14x, and then we get 6 minus 12 when I distribute that. It was plus 12. Now it's minus. So minus 6. And now we're done. 14x has a smaller power than x squared. So x squared does not go into 14x just like four didn't go into three. So this would be my remainder. And this would be my quotient. So 14x cubed minus 12x squared plus six over x squared minus one is equal to 14x minus 12, the quotient, plus the remainder over x squared minus one. So this is not a factor since we had a remainder, but we're just practicing division right now. So let's try one more of these. If it's not familiar at all, like you've literally never seen this, I will add more videos. I think for most of us, we've probably seen this. It's just been a really, really long time. Um, but if you haven't seen it ever, then you probably want to watch a couple more videos. Um, but I think really practice is everything here. So just do some examples. In the homework, do more than I assign. Um, practices everything here. So we're going to do f of x over d of x again. Um, x to the fourth over 8 divided by x cubed plus 2x minus 1. You'll notice the top has a higher power than the bottom. It's the only reason this works. So the bottom goes outside. Um, 
here's something I learned once. It's like, we have a person on top of a horse. Um, I cannot draw, but here's my horse on the per right. You're riding the horse. Who The horse, um, the person goes in the house, right? And then he leaves his horse outside. So the top goes inside, the bottom stays outside because the horse is going to stay outside. All right, hopefully that helped one person. All right, so x to the fourth, and you'll notice we're missing a bunch of terms. So no x cubed, no x squared, no x. We're just going to add it just in case we need them, plus 8. And we'll go ahead and divide one more time. So let's do x to the fourth over x cubed, right? First term divided by first term, which would just be an x, right? So x cubed times x would bring me back to x to the fourth. So we'll do x, and then we multiply by all three terms in this case. So we get x to the fourth. We get 2x squared, so I'm going to line that up with like terms, and then we get minus x. Cool. And then we're going to go ahead and subtract. So I'm going to change all the signs, negative, negative, positive. Changes the signs. Cancel out. We don't need x cubed because it's 0. We get minus 2x squared plus x plus 8. All right, and then it's crazy, but we're already done, right? Because x squared is a smaller power. All right, if I try to do 2x cubed, to, oops, 2x squared divided by x cubed, it doesn't work. So this is already the remainder. As soon as this is a smaller power, it's the remainder. That's the trick. So let's see. We have x to the fourth plus 8 over x cubed plus 2x minus 1 is equal to x. That's my quotient. Plus the remainder. So this whole thing is my remainder. all over the outside, x cubed plus 2x minus 1. And that is long division. So try a couple more, because um, we're going to maybe add some new stuff in a second. Um, but if you need more practice, try some from the book and come back. Um, we will do long division as we do other examples, but we're going to add more to it in the next videos. Cool. Let me know if you have questions.